Today I'm going to show you guys how you can hook up your laptop or your PC wirelessly directly onto your HDTV. Now first of all I'd just like to mention that you know if you have a laptop that is Wi-Di compatible and you have a HDTV that is Miracast or Wi-Di compatible then you don't need any kind of device you can hook it up right now plug and play right to your HDTV however most of you are not going to have Wi-Di Miracast on both on both devices okay like for instance for myself my computer is Wi-Di compatible and what does Wi-Di mean it basically means like a wireless display okay and if you don't know if your computer, I mean, most of your computers out there, I mean, this computer here is like four years, four or five years old and it has Wi-Di. But to confirm first, I'm gonna put a link on the bottom of the description uh, where basically it, it's a, uh, you download this program through Intel and it'll run a, um, it's called the uh, Intel Wi-Di compatibility tool. And I ran it and you can see that it says, my system does support wireless screen sharing using Miracast. Now for my HDTV, I don't have Miracast or it's a Wi-Di or anything on there. So what I had to do with my HDTV was I had to purchase this Wi-Di receiver or wireless display receiver. It is by Action Tech. I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link below where I got it. But I'll, I, I'll show you exactly uh, this little gadget in a second. But in regards to the, uh, the wireless display, now, I mean, it works just like if you have a, um, uh, an, an HDMI cable plugged in. If you want to extend your monitor, like, let me, uh, I'm running Windows 8.1, by the way, here. And let me push, uh, let me go and extend my window here so I can extend it right here. Extend my, my desktop here, as you guys can see. If you want to use it as, like, uh, an, an extra window so you can move stuff out. And let me go ahead and push the Windows key and letter P again. And you can make it a second screen only. You guys can see it right here. But I'll just go back to duplicate. And let me just show you, I have a YouTube video up here. Let me go ahead and play this for you. To fix this uh, iPhone right now, here and right now. Okay. You can hear so the, the volume. The volume is actually TV. coming from the HDTV and everything. It's perfectly wireless. I can go back 25 feet if I have to, and I still have no problems. If I'm laying in my bed, you know, I don't have to worry about having uh, like a cable in here, like HDMI cable, like bending my ports and stuff like that. I can just move this freely anywhere I want and, and watch everything from my, that's on my laptop directly onto my HDTV. Now the thing is guys, if, um, uh, like I said, I'm gonna have that wide die compatibility tool in the link below, but if your laptop is not wide die compatible then what you're going to need is um, you're going to need a transmitter so if your TV didn't have Miracast or Wi-Di either then you would need two things you would need a wireless, wireless display receiver and a transmitter as well but in my case I just needed my uh, HDTV is not Miracast or Wi-Di doesn't have any of that so I the only thing I need is a receiver because my laptop it is Wi-Di Compatible, but I have every all the details I have in the description like below and Even if you guys don't have a wide-eye compatible with any of any of the HDTV or your laptop Then if you look in the bottom, I'll have a link below where you can get the transmitter and this uh, The receiver and transmitter together. Oh And this does support um, 1080p HD guys and another thing I just wanted to know before I forget is if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 or S4, or S5 or S6 or even the Notes, I mean, I pretty much hooked up all these wirelessly directly to my HDTV and I'm able to play games. I can stream my Netflix right from there. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you uh, what this little receiver looks like. And I'll show you how to set it up on your, um, your laptop as well. Okay, so in regards to the wireless receiver that I had plugged into the back of my HDTV, it looks just like this, guys. This part goes into your HDMI port, and then here is the USB cable. The USB cable is for power, guys. You need to plug this in to power this up. In my case, I had a USB and an HDMI port in the back of my HDTV. If you don't have a USB port in the back of your TV, then you can plug this anywhere else where you have USB 
uh, port uh, on your laptop or actually even on the box that it comes with it does give you like a, uh, a wall outlet so you can uh, power that up that way uh, too and again here's the box that it came with and it also came with this extender here guys which is pretty cool basically you know a lot of times when you when you plug in your HDMI in the back of your TV it's, it's hard it's hard to reach and stuff like that this extender cable here Basically, you just plug your HDMI into your TV one time, and then you always have this extender. So it's just more, it's easier for you to, to get access to it, to plug, um, you know, this receiver or any other HDMI cable or anything, pretty much. So let me go ahead and plug this back in, and I'll show you how to hook it up onto your laptop. Okay, so now it is uh, plugged in the back of my HDTV. Now, if this is your first time hooking this up, what you want to do is get your remote or go into the TV and go to input. And then once you go to input, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it is the one that's uh, highlighted, the HDMI number three. So I'm going to scroll down. Oops. Right there, I'm going to push enter. Okay, now this is ready to connect, but let me show you actually, let me go ahead and remove it from this list here and I'll start back over to show you how to connect it. It's really easy. Okay, so I'm using 8, Windows 8.1, guys, and what you want to do is you want to click on this uh, search, and you want to type in device, and then you want to go down to where it says device settings. Click on that, and then I have it already down here. Let me go ahead and remove this because I'm showing you guys how to set it up for the first time. Okay, so now we're in a device, and now what you want to do is up here where it says... Uh, add a device let me show you this add device here you want to go ahead and click on this right here let it search okay now here it is and you can see it's the um, the receiver name it says a uh, SBWD SBWD and if you look on the receiver name on the TV that is it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then let me move this back a little bit so you guys can see now it says the magic is about to happen. Oh, you didn't see that. Okay, we're on. Pretty simple. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.